Yo, what is going on guys? Loco here and I'm back with a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about a little bit of a touchy subject and bringing up an important question. Is controller OP again? So let's get started. First and foremost, I'm just going to flat out say, I don't necessarily think controller by itself is OP. For me, I think it's insanely hard to balance an actual eSport when there are two different inputs involved. This will be a conversation talked about forever, most likely. So in this video, I'm going to leave this VOD playing in the background from Unknown Army back when Sky Scar was just the most dominant weapon. Just to let you guys know, before I joined the Fortnite community, I was traveling across the country competing in Call of Duty Majors. I ended up giving up Call of Duty because I saw Fortnite was giving away insane cash prizes and I could win money as a solo. Call of Duty was just too much relying on my three other teammates, so I had to leave that part of me behind. My point though, is that there was never a controller is OP, mouse and keyboard is OP like conversation. The game was on a single input, controller versus controller, and honestly, times were much simpler then. As you guys might know, yesterday the solo cash cup happened, and I think everyone was shocked to see the top 20 leaderboard. Saf posted this tweet, literally all he said was XD. I don't know how to feel about this personally. Mouse and keyboard has many advantages. The flick and precision is one of those, and obviously scroll wheel is OP. There's things to even the playing field though. I'm not sure if all of you know, but something called the controller scroller came out and became popular around last year during Winter Royale, and I have a bunch of controller friends who actually use this. Do you guys remember during Season 2, Chapter 2, where you couldn't go on YouTube or Twitter without seeing controller complaints? The headshot multiplier at the time was 2x, which later got nerfed for obvious reasons, but let's be honest, at that time, it truthfully was busted. But since then it was nerfed, and to be honest, in my opinion, it made both inputs extremely balanced. Let's look at some clips from Booga and Ninja complaining about it during the OP era. Right after TFG comes in and talks to you guys real quick. Alright guys, I am super excited to announce our most recent NFT sponsorship, Funky Monkey Frat House. Now my favorite part about this project and honestly one of the coolest things about any projects going around right now is their artist. We're talking about Mike S. Miller, who is a highly successful veteran comic book artist both an illustrator and writer who has done work with Marvel Comics and DC Comics. That's right, guys. He has worked with Marvel and DC, and you can see his art on the screen right now. He is actually incredible. When you go around and look at all these NFT projects that are popping up right now, I think of three key factors, the community, the roadmap, and the artist. Obviously, the artist here is completely nailed on the head. This guy is a legend, and his work is amazing. On top of that, I'm on their Discord. I've been checking it out for a couple of days. It's a rowdy Discord, a lot of excited people in there. They've already minted over 2,000, guys. So if you want to get in on a project, I would definitely recommend this one. But again, as always, you got to be careful when buying nfts they could be worth a lot of money or they could be worth absolutely nothing you just got to do your research you got to make sure you pick the ones you really like but with that disclaimer this is definitely one that i rock with and if you guys want to get more information join their discord the link is down below you can mint one right now the right analog stick is what controls where my where my gun and where this, this little reticle actually aims i'm going to get in front of this guy and i'm gonna walk around him and hopefully he starts jumping in and I'm going to show you, I'm only going to move my left analog stick that it, it literally just pulls to the player. Just, just. Alright, here we go. What? what? Right. Scope. Scope. Dude, controller, man. Like, please, please just get nerfed. Please, I do, I will do anything. Like, it's not fair. That's not fair. No keyboard and mouse player hits that shit. Dude, I just wow. die, man. He doesn't even mean to lock on to me either. It's just hacking, bro. Like, it's actually just hacking. That was fucking, like, I, wow. I'm going into the next semi routine under the bridge, probably. I don't it's actually just hacking. Like, what is that shit, man? Like, how is that fair? Okay, so, if controller hasn't gotten buffed, if the headshot multiplier is the same, why now are controller players starting to become more dominant? There's been an insane amount of accusations of players using the Cronus Zen to buff their aim assist along with other OP downloadable scripts to improve their performance. To be honest, I spent an insane amount of time researching this device and a quick Google search will show you how many of these have actually been sold to the public. 
Now, I'm not accusing anyone in the top 20 of using the Cronus. I have no proof or evidence of anyone abusing this cheat box. However, it is something to think about. Most of the players on the leaderboard are insane and wouldn't need to cheat to get to where they are anyway. 140,000 copies sold is a little scary though. And it's not like they're blatantly flying around the map using aimbot. It's designed to be undetected, so you can never really tell if people are using it or maybe they just got lucky bloom. Like, there's literally just no way to know. The lack of in-person events isn't helping either. COVID's been going on for a long time now, and back in the day, people were less inclined to cheat because they would have to show up to an in-person event probably later that month, which obviously they couldn't cheat at. Of course, it's not just the Cronus running rampant in the scene. Mouse and keyboard players all over the world are also downloading illegal aimbot and soft aim to help them compete in online video games. In my opinion, it's in a really bad place right now. I mean, just look at any Warzone TikTok. There are people openly cheating, getting banned, and then instantly creating a new account and doing it again. It's most likely just a coincidence that controller players dominated the solo cash cup last night, and I'm excited to see what happens in the trio cash cup tonight, which I will cover in the next video most likely. Again, I'm not accusing anyone of zenning or aimbotting, just some food for thought, and let me know down below in the comments if you guys want me to make an in-depth video about the Cronus and other cheats being used in the gaming scene. I've streamed almost 900 days consecutively on Twitch now, and I stream every single tournament and talk through my decisions and why I make them. So if you guys are enjoying the videos I make for TFG, then come up, stop by and hang out. Everything I talk about in these videos, we always discuss in stream beforehand, and I can use some of your guys' helps making these videos. On stream yesterday, we died to an aimbot or in the cash cup, and after a little bit of investigation, I found the kid's Twitter who had eliminated me. Just in case you guys don't believe that there are cheaters running around in tournaments, I'll play this clip from the hacker's Twitter that he posted. Oh my god, 33 I think not only Epic Games, but video game companies in general need to quickly address this cheating problem so that there'll be no question about who's legit or who's not legit. Again, as I stated before, shout out to the top 20 of the Cash Cup yesterday. I'm not in any way accusing any individual of cheating. All of the Zen talk and control players starting to do insanely well again could be pure coincidence, especially because the Cronus isn't just for controller. It could also be used on mouse and keyboard. In my opinion, eventually they'll find a fix for this and ban all the players using these illegal scripts. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll be reading your guys' comments later tonight and seeing what your thoughts are. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'm out. Peace.